Hi everyone. Today I am rushing a little bit to get supper on the table. So I stopped and I bought some pork loins and I'm going to bake my husband some ranch crusted pork loin chops, I guess. I don't know if they're called chops, but he's going to have those new potatoes and green beans. Follow along with me and I'll show you how I quickly make these ranch crusted pork loin chops. I have four pork loins here and what I'm doing to these is I'm putting just some mayonnaise, put mayonnaise on the top part of them, coating that in real good. Let's get a good coat of it on there on the tops. And then in this bowl, I have mm, about a cup. I've used a cup of this probably of breadcrumbs plain. I put in half half of my package of ranch dip mix, three tablespoons of butter, and I got that butter melted and it makes it like this. See how that's all crumbly and moist? I'm going to take this mixture and I'm going to put it on top of our pork and I'm going to press it down. You want a thick coating on it. I have a pan here that I line with parchment paper and I am going to put my pork on this paper and I'll get that all pushed down again so I can get the rest of this on here get it all out press it in good And then I'm going to bake this until the pork is cooked. So, I don't know, 20, 20 to 30 minutes. I'm not sure on the time there. My oven runs at a lower temperature than most. So, whatever you normally cook your pork chops or bake them in the oven is what you would do with this. And in another bowl, I have all, all these little bitty potatoes here new potatoes and I'm just going to cut them in half a little bit of avocado oil on them toss them around in that oil and that other part of that ranch seasoning mix I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit on them just a little bit coat all those in that I've got a little pan here that I put parchment paper on. Put that in there. And I'm just going to turn these like this. Now we bake these along next to the pork chops. Have a jar of green beans that I canned last year. canned chicken broth that I had in the fridge from the other night. It smells good. About a half a cup. Turn it on and let that cook. Let that cook down. I won't put any salt in it, but I will put a little bit of pepper, not much, and let that come to a boil, cook it down a little bit, and it'll be done. It's finished. It took me about 35 minutes to get these finished. They look good. 
and the little potatoes. Here's his dinner. I'll show you the inside of this pork. Isn't that good? This is one thing that I miss more than anything is pork. You can do this on chicken. That's the way I've had it. And it is just, it's delicious on chicken. But the top is all crumbly. And it's got a lot of that seasoning in it. And it just tastes good. And the potato, the new potatoes also has a little bit of that seasoning. But not overpowering. And then the home canned green beans. So until next time, God bless you all, and I'll see you again.